All right, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at uh, an electric Coleman cooler. So this normally comes with a 10 amp power supply, so you can plug it into the wall, or you can uh, plug it into the cigarette lighter in your vehicle. So I've got a, a Pyramid PS9KX uh, power supply. It's supposed to be rated at five amps constant or seven amps surge. So uh, just a spoiler for this video is that this power supply is not suitable for this cooler even though it uh, the cooler falls under the specs of this thing. So uh, if you take a look at the instructions here, they have a note on the end of it. I'm just trying to find it here is where my thumb is. So it's only rated for 15 minutes at rated load. So constant and continuous. I don't know if the manufacturer is confused by this or what, but we'll just uh, I'll turn on the cooler here so it hasn't run. But it's just a fan that runs with a Peltier cooler. So we'll just uh, watch the uh, voltage and current. It's kind of interesting. Actually, before we do that, I'm just going to unplug the cooler so you can see, so you can see the uh, steady state voltage. So it is 13.8 like it's supposed to be. And uh, but once you start plugging load into it, the uh, voltage drops. So it's about four and a half amps, with 12 volts. But what you're going to see is the things drop after a while. Then there's a transistor on the back of the heat sink here that starts to warm up. So we're just going to let this uh, record for a while and uh, eventually it's going to trip out. So the heat sink's starting to get warm now. As you can see, it's not a, a constant voltage uh, coming out of this thing. And the uh, current drops with the voltage as well, which is kind of interesting. Because when you consider Ohm's law, you think that voltage would go up and the current would go down, or vice versa, to put out the same amount of power. And I think if you were to page back in this video here, you would notice that the fan sound is a bit different. At this point, it's just getting slower and slower.
So I do recommend getting some kind of power supply like this if you want to run your cooler inside. But the uh, the one that you can buy from Coleman is a bit better than this one. It has a fan in it to keep it going. You could conceivably put a fan blowing over this cooler to or over this uh, power supply to keep it running. Or maybe you get a, a bigger one from a different manufacturer. Or you could even buy one that has just terminals on it and add a cigarette lighter to it. So uh, after about 15 minutes, like it says in the manual, it's going to trip out and uh, stop putting out power. Then as it after it cools down, it automatically turns back on. But this kind of cooler needs to run continuous. It's not it doesn't have a compressor in it or anything like that. It needs uh, continual power. So this doesn't work. So thank you for watching.